Hey guys, James with Torches and Tactical, and today we're looking at the Wubin X2. Now, I know what you're thinking. We reviewed the XO, the X1, and the X3. How come I did not do the X2 already? Uh, I don't understand how I possibly did this, but it fell through my grasps. And when I say that, I mean, I've been sitting here with an X2 on my shelf for probably close to four months, and I don't know how I didn't get the X2 review done. Uh, and I apologize to you guys. Uh, I apologize to anyone who, you know, could have been privy to the fact that this excellent light has been out there and may like the channel but hasn't seen this light pop up yet. So I apologize to everyone who may have been looking forward to one. But I got you covered now. Uh, we have the X2, not only the standard X2, but also the white one with the LH351D. And if this doesn't do it for you, they also have copper, they have titanium, they have a whole slew of options and colors. But we got these two options here. So we have a version that has the Osram P9 and the Samsung LH351D. So we're going to go through both these, find out what's good, what's bad, what's different, and then let you know what we think of it. So for starters, this is the Wubin X2. Now this will give you up to 1800 lumens if you pick the one, the white one that has the LH351Ds in there. Or if you want a little more oomph, you can go ahead and get the Osram P9 version. Now it's going to be much cooler light, it's not going to be as high of a color rendering, but you will get 2500 lumens from the Osram P9 version. So in addition to the 1800 and 2500 lumens respectively, you do also get a, a high mode that is 400 lumens, a medium mode that is 100 lumens, and a low mode that is 5 lumens. Now at 5 lumens, this will run for up to 80 hours. And if you want to know those candela ratings or the throw measurements, the LH351D version will hit 128 meters at 4100 candela, and that's because they are orange peel and very wide shallow reflectors. Uh, the Osram P9 version, on the other hand, this will hit 146 meters at 5300 candela. So uh, a little bit further throw, again, going to be much cooler, and it, those Osram P9s do give out a little more heat and a little more power as well. In addition to that, this is drop resistance rated at one meter, so you, this can make a little bit of a contact without you having to worry too much about it. It is water resistant rated to, to two meters at IP68, and the aluminum versions come in at 115 grams with the batteries installed. So this, speaking of batteries, this does have two 14500s installed from the factory, and technically, yes, you can remove them. However, uh, it's not supposed to be a user serviceable piece. So if you do decide to do that, Keep in mind, it may void your warranty and do so at your own risk. So finally, as far as those dimensions go, all of the materials, regardless of the weight, do come in at 85 millimeters by 39 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So with that pocket clip, it comes in at 20 millimeters. Very nice and compact, especially for the amount of light that you get from either one of these. So temporarily, I'm going to go ahead and slide these off to the side and let's see what comes in this. Now this box here, this is for the white one. Uh, I did purchase it on Amazon directly. So it has the Amazon sticker here. This will give you all the specifications. And if you need to, it'll tell you how to contact Wubin directly. So we'll open it up. And I really, really like how they do their boxes recently. This is kind of a, a, a little treasure chest, if you will. So we'll go ahead and thumb that and pop it open. And there we go. So this is a very, very dense foam. And that's going to keep your X2 very, very uh, well protected on the way to you. Now, one of my favorite parts about any Wubin light is their ingenuity and innovation when it comes to their charging cords. And so not only is this a very usable long lanyard, so you can wear it as a, a, a just an over the neck or a keychain style lanyard, but you can also press these two little tabs here. Boom, there you go. And you have a full size USB on one side and a USB-C on the other side. And so you can get everything nice and charged up and you don't always have to be carrying around something that you know kind of looks like a charging cord uh, so let's go ahead and wrap this back up we'll get this back in here and with that back in place it does also come with a red diffuser so this fits right over the top of it you can see a little recess in here so you can't push it too far down but boom there you go fits nice it's tight, one, two, three, four. And now you have a diffuse red light anytime you need to use a light at night, so it won't ruin your night vision. So one nice thing about this is it even has a very, very cool embossed Wubin branding right there. 
Let's go ahead and slide this back in. And then the only other thing this comes with, when you first open it up, this will be sitting right on top like so. And inside here, it does have not only the bag that the actual light came in, but it has the user manual. And this will walk you through everything you need to know about it. Because in addition to those output modes, uh, the high, medium, low, so on and so forth, this does also give you the ability to have a strobe and SOS. And it also allows you to program exactly what you want those to be. So let's go ahead and get this packaging out of the way. And we can take a look at the lights themselves. So, um, you know, honestly, I think the white shows the details better on camera. So let's go ahead and show this one here. So this is the X2 in all of its glory. Very nice industrial machine bezel. All of this is 6061 aluminum. This MAO finish is fantastic. And uh, I've been handling this one for quite a while. And it's holding up just great. So you do have the Wuven X2 branding here up top. We'll flip it over. It lets you know that it could get a little bit warm. And I mean, you have slots here, machining grooves, cooling fins, whatever you want to call them, all over this place. And I mean, I, I think every design choice uh, lays out perfectly with the next one and the last one. So uh, similar to the XO, this does have a blue anodized clip here. Um, this is not only going to serve as a cover for your USB-C charging port, but this little white section right here, all right, let me zoom in here, little white section in the middle, that actually is the button to turn on and off your X2. Uh, so you can activate that with your uh, with that blue switch here. So very, very nice color, a little bit lighter than like a Olight or Brinite blue. So it looks really, really cool. I will step down. The head and the body are actually two separate pieces. You can see these little screws here. They are some Allen cap screws. We'll step down. You have very long gro uh, grooves here on the side that not only aid in grip, making sure that you're not going to drop this or lose it, um, but a lot of people have been putting tritium in here as well. So that is one thing to keep in mind is all these grooves. Uh, there are different sizes of tritium that you can fit inside these and make it look really, really sharp. On the bottom side, it says do not disassemble, gives you your serial number, battery size, all your governmental signage basically saying don't throw it away, that it is recyclable. And then you have a very sturdy, stout pocket clip. Now, this is one of the most unique pocket clips of any light I've ever seen. Um, and it looks very at home here on the X2. So uh, very sturdy, very strong, very stout. So you can use this as uh, on a vest and clip it down. You can carry this in your pocket and it's not going to go anywhere. So uh, I will go ahead and bring up the black one now so you can see how all of those different colors and everything are accented on the black. Looks very nice. So different emitters in this one. These are the Osram P9s. Very cool. These are very, very cool lights. I'm super happy that uh, I'm finally getting around to doing this video. Uh, one thing I didn't note on the white, even though it is more uh, evident and apparent on the white, is there is a lanyard hole cut out here. So you can stick that lanyard on there and you'll always have a charging cord with you, which is really, really nice and handy. But it also holds the light very sturdy and stout as well. So again, the bottom with your governmental signage. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and run through uh, charging and then the user interface on here. So as far as charging goes, I did get this cord back out. So we'll go ahead and take this off here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this into a battery pack that I have here. This is kind of my go-to as far as portable power solutions right now. So we'll go ahead and push that in there, set that off to the side. And now when the battery pack is on, you can flip the blue anodized cover here, slide in that USB, and you do receive there. Let me, let me cover it up a little bit. Uh, you do see that little red indicator right there. So that'll change colors as soon as this is full. So you always know exactly where your X2 is at. And you know, when you need to charge, this will flash as well to let you know that. So let's go ahead and take this back out. And again, this is rated at 7.4 watt hours because it does have those two 14500s installed from the factory. So let's get this battery pack out of the way. And if we focus on the user interface now, 
Now, one thing you saw earlier is I unlocked the light, and that you can lock and unlock with one, two, three, four. You get a, you get a flash right there. That was three flashes to let you know that the light is locked out. And when it is locked out, the light won't turn on at all. But here, let me see if I can cover it up. Oh, hold on, let me block that light. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that small LED indicator that was used for charging, that is quickly flashing blue to let you know that it is locked out. One, two, three, so three quick flashes. Uh, so let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. So we unlock the light again. So I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold from off. And here you have your low five lumen mode, and then you can press here and that will shut it off. So one button press, it turns it on and off. However, when it is on, no matter what mode you're at, you can press and hold, and it will automatically kick down into that five lumen mode. Again, this will run for 80 hours. And from here, you can press and hold. Right now, we're at that medium 100 lumens. Press and hold again. We're at high of 400 lumens. And then if you do a double press, so this is all 1,800 lumens from this LH351 model. Again, LH351 comes in at 1,800 lumens. And if you want to see that turbo from the P9, you can go ahead and do a quick double press. So this is 2,500 lumens. So my hand is completely disappearing in the light output from this super small compact light. But in addition to that, we can do a quick triple press, one, two, three, and you have a strobe here. And then if you do another three presses, one, two, three, it will go to your SOS mode. So that was one, two, three one two so it was three dots two dashes and then three dots so sos and then if you do another triple press one two three it will cut back over to that strobe mode so very easy very uh accessible user interface so you can get to all those different modes and i mentioned earlier that you're able to go ahead and program each of those modes so what you can do here is let's go ahead and press it to turn it on and I'm going to press and hold once. So we're in low mode now. And well, here, let me show you first off uh, the different ranges for this. So for low mode, this will let you adjust between 5 and 100 lumens. For medium, it will let you adjust between 100 and 400 lumens. And then high, it'll let you adjust between 400 and 800 lumens. So I'm going to go to high and let's adjust that. So all you need to do is press and hold. OK, so that's low. That's medium, that's high, and right now the high is set to 400 lumens. And if you want to adjust this, uh, I hope that the camera is going to show this clearly. If you do a double press and hold, so one, two, and then hold it on that second one. So let's let's go ahead and do that. One, two. And I don't know if you guys are seeing this on camera, but it is slowly getting brighter, and that flash lets you know that it is peaked at its brightest. So now. When it's off, you can press and hold. So we're in five lumen mode, press and hold. Now we're gonna be at our medium mode, press and hold again. And now this is full 800 lumens versus the 400 lumens that it was set at. So very, very nice uh, if you want to go ahead and set custom intervals or custom uh, gaps in between those light outputs. And if you ever have these set so you don't remember exactly what all your settings were at, one thing you can do is lock out your light. So one, two, three, four. There we go. And now from here, if you want to set it back to a factory state, you can do one click, followed by two clicks, followed by three clicks. And then if the light turns on, even though it was locked out, then you know that you're back in a factory set. Uh, so no matter what they were at, you can go ahead and do a factory reset, if you will, and set everything so it's back like it was from the factory. So now that we've seen literally everything these can do, we've programmed it, we've set it back to a factory reset state, uh, we've gone through, checked the strobe, the SOS, high, low, medium, turbo, all that stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take these outside so you guys can find out exactly how those LH351Ds from Samsung in the white X2 uh, compare to the Osram P9s in the Black X2. So uh, this one comes in at 2,500 lumens yet again. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these outside. We'll see how well these flood because I mean, even at its peak, this one only comes in at 146 meters. So I know it's not gonna throw like crazy, but let's get outside so we can see how these light up. Uh, we can compare the 1,800 lumens versus the 2,500 lumens. And then 
we'll come back and touch on a few key notes. So let's do this. All right, guys, we're outside with the Wubin X2. We have the Osram P9 as well as the Samsung LH351D. Uh, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to start with the Osram P9. So I'm going to press and hold. This will go into its lowest mode. Here we go. Hopefully you guys see something decent on camera. Press and hold again. Press and hold again. So this is high. And now I'm going to do a double press and get all 2,500 lumens. So this is 2,500 lumens from three Osram P9s with very, very shallow and wide reflectors. And if you want to, you can do a triple press. And this is that tactical strobe. And to compare, we have the Samsung LH351D emitters with the white X2. So let's go ahead and just get into that one. Press and hold. This will go into low mode. Press and hold again. Press and hold again. Now this is high. And I'll do a double press, and that'll go straight to turbo. This is 1800 lumens with the Wubin X2 and the Samsung LH351D emitters. And we can do a triple press from here. And this is the tactical strobe from three LH351Ds. And now to do a very, very quick comparison one more time, I'll just do a double press on the Osram P9. And a double press on the LH351D. So you definitely notice a, a, a warmer tone with those Samsung emitters. So it may just all come down to preference. But now that we saw how they compare to one another, and we saw exactly what that beam pattern looks like, let's go ahead and get back inside, and I'll let you know what I thought of each one. All right, guys, we are back. And I'm just going to say right out of the gate that, uh, frankly, these are awesome lights. Uh, the only thing, the, the only peculiar thing, if you will, that I noticed about these is the fact that those three LEDs sitting side by side with each other instead of around, like you would typically see in a light, um, up close, they do give you a little bit of a wide beam pattern, and you see each of those hot spots individually. Now, the further back you go, the less obvious that is. And uh, frankly, I think it was it was actually kind of cool because um, a lot of times you don't need to see up or down. Uh, a lot of times you're going to want to focus on getting that nice wide beam of light, and the X2 with its very unique shape helps accomplish that. So. Uh, one other thing I do have to say is that uh, as far as the temperature is concerned, the Osrams here uh, do appear very, very cool. However, uh, I mean, they, they, they don't look bad. Uh, the Osram P9, it is used for a reason. It's not a bad LED. So I think a lot of it's going to come down to, do you want a little less output and have the nice CRI or high CRI of those LH351Ds, or do you want more output? and suffer a little bit. Uh, I shouldn't say suffer because it's not uh, bad. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not my personal preference. But uh, you can also go with the Osram P9 version, get more light, but it's gonna be a very cool white light. So you're not gonna see the colors the exact same way between these two. So guys, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can go over to wubin.com and you can check these out in the link down in the comments and the description below. And if you use my coupon code right here, if you use my coupon code, you will save 10% on your order. So when you do that, uh, I'll be honest with you guys up front, uh, when you do that, it, we will get a small commission, and that's going to go straight back into the channel so we can get more lights for you guys to see. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. If I could get you to, I'd love it if you could like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. And if you do, click on that bell notification. That's how we tell the YouTube algorithms that we're doing a good job and you guys get first dibs on all those giveaways and see those reviews first. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one.